Hey guys, welcome to my channel, it's Melody, and today we're going to be talking about my absolute favorite eco-friendly products of all time. And so if you're looking to make your house green, there are many reasons to do this. It is a lot more efficient to have as few disposable products as possible. So every time something runs out, we have to go to the grocery store and get another one. So in that vein, whenever I buy from Amazon, I try to buy everything in one order as much as possible, and that Hello, Pat. Whenever I buy from Amazon, I try to get all of my packages in one so that they can send it out in one box. Therefore, it is so much easier to break down and it's way more efficient for them. But I try to use that in everything, whether it's in stocking my pantry or it's in eco-friendly products. The main draw for me in eco-friendly products is that when something runs out, I don't have to go and get it. I don't have to worry about it. That's partially why I cut down on my condiments and I also cut down on the cleaners underneath the sink is so that there's a lot less things to run out of. When you're in the grocery store, you stop off at a lot fewer places. So this may sound trivial, but in the grand scheme of things, it all adds up. Besides all of that, it also helps to save the environment and it also helps to save in costs. The very first item I recommend going green with is batteries. I highly recommend getting the Amazon. Whenever possible, you should get the Amazon brand because Amazon makes good quality things. So what you wanna do if you want to replace your batteries with rechargeable batteries is you want to go throughout your house and mark down how many of each type of battery you use. The kind of batteries you can get disposable of are double A's, triple A's, C's, and D's. Now the only things that I don't use reusable batteries for are emergency equipment like a flashlight and also my digital recorder. I use it about once or twice a month and I only use it for work. And the reason why I don't keep reusable in those kind of things is because they're used so infrequently that oftentimes they don't store as well as regular batteries. So the charge will drop a lot faster. So on things like my keyboard and mouse, which I use for work, I use all rechargeable batteries. Things like the clock on my wall, write down a list of the things that you need to replace and then you know about how much of each you need. And I really like the Amazon Basics charger because it can charge double A's and triple A's and it's very compact to store. And also, you can get the casings for the C and D battery so you can pop a double A battery in them so that you do not need to buy C and D batteries, which saves a lot of money and a lot of time in the long run. My next favorite item for the house is the remote control outlet switches. I've talked about this a lot of times on my channel, but it's still one of my top five favorite products of all time. It comes with three hubs and one remote, and you can turn on all your lights on at the same time without even leaving your couch. It's more than that because when you turn it off, it shuts off all the power to the outlet, so you're not, your equipment isn't draining electricity while it's not in use, which most things do. So this shuts off all the power to the outlet, which is really nice. So you could even do that for your cordless vacuum. You could put one of these where your cordless vacuum is and shut it off and then before you want to go vacuuming you can turn it on. You could do something like that so it's not sucking a lot of electricity. So that's just a thought. And then the very next thing that I really like is these straws. There's glass straws and there are metal straws. So it's all up to you on preference. I prefer glass because I like as many things as possible clear and I just like that it doesn't get too cold while I'm drinking out of it like metal does. But metal is a lot easier to store in your purse, take with you on the go, it's lighter weight. So it depends on your priorities, but definitely switch to eco-friendly straws. The only thing that you have to remember with eco-friendly straws is make sure you rinse them out as soon as you're done drinking your smoothie because it's a lot harder to clean out obviously you just throw away other straws. That's just something you need to remember, but it saves a lot of money in the long run. And then my next favorite thing is paperless paper towels. And I personally like half sheets. So I buy them in half sheets and I buy them double ply. But if you like the whole sheet of paper towel, then go for it. The only reason why I don't like that is because I don't get the whole thing dirty and then I'm having to do way more laundry. So what I do is I just, as soon as these are dirty after I'm done eating or cleaning, I throw them underneath the sink in a little 
clear bowl I have there and then I throw them into the laundry with everything else, these don't shed. So you don't have to worry about what you throw it in with. Just when things are extra, extra grimy, I usually use disposable paper towels because I don't like the idea of getting these extremely dirty. But this has still cut down my disposable by at least 90%. So it saved me a lot of money. And also if I run out of disposable, I don't run to the store right away. I can just put it off and put it off until I need something else at the store. And one more thing I want to say is if you're getting disposable, a lot of disposable things like paper towels and toilet paper can be got on Amazon now, so you don't need to be leaving the store for everything. I would, start, I would start off with two packs and then see if you need more and then add in more from there. That's what I did. And then the next thing in that vein is from the same shop and that is reusable eye rounds. Definitely don't use disposable, there's just no point. Now these do get stained, as you can tell they get stained but it doesn't bother me. It's just, it's completely functional. You can get organic reusable pads and many, many people use the Diva Cup. So those are all worth a try. I will link them in the down bar for you if you're looking for feminine products that are reusable. Some people also use bamboo toothbrushes that can be recycled. When it comes to reusable bags, you can put your food in reusable bags, but I don't because it gets really dirty and it's hard to clean out. But I do use reusable bags when I'm traveling because oftentimes we just throw all of our travel things in plastic bags and then throw them out. I would just rather use a reusable bag. So in my reusable bag, I have earplugs, I have eye drops, I have Q-tips, things like that, jewelry. You can even use them for dry snacks because they don't get that dirty. But when it comes to liquids, I do not like the idea of storing the liquid, things like stews and things. I'd much rather store it in a Pyrex or a glass container than in a reusable bag. And the very next thing and something that I really like are these bags, these reusable bags. You can roll them up and take them with you to the store. So I always do that and they carry a lot and they also have big straps so they don't hurt your arm. So I have five of these and I use them for travel to store dirty laundry. I use them to go to the beach with. And there are just so many uses for reusable bags, camping, road trips. I just throw everything in one bag and head out the door. So reusable bags have got to be one of my favorite thing of all time. They also have reusable grocery bags. In the produce section, they have reusable mesh bags as well, which I have in the car. And I recommend those, but they aren't, some things have an inconvenience factor to them. So the Diva Cup is one of them. The mesh bags are one of them. Most of these things, there's no inconvenience factor whatsoever. As far as I'm concerned, the pros and the cons, they're equal or the pros are way better. The very next thing that is worth a try is reusable candles. I much prefer reusable candles because they don't give off all that smoke in the house. They look just as nice. I never liked heavy scents because they usually gave me a headache. So reusable candles were perfect for me. I keep them by the bedside and I have a remote control for them to turn them on. So I don't even have to get up to turn them on. Again, another great buy and they look very realistic and I use my reusable batteries in here. So it is all working together very smoothly. A very efficient household, and not just for the environment, but in effort expended from you yourself. The second to the last thing I use that is eco-friendly is my drying rack. I use the Amazon brand because Amazon, like I said, they make the best. They really put a lot of work into it. When it comes to batteries, anything essential, Amazon makes the best. So I have a drying rack and it folds away really nicely. It's way better and way cheaper than the other brands I've tried in the past. And I can get it in white so it fits with my aesthetic very well. So I really recommend that for drying your clothes because your clothes will last longer and you'll save electricity in the dryer. You can also dry things on hangers and on your towel rack as well in the bathroom. There's almost nothing that I don't air dry and I always air dry it on that rack. The last thing I use that's eco-friendly is I use black panties all the time unless I am wearing lingerie. They look newer all the time so you don't have to soak them. So I highly recommend black panties because you'll go through a lot less panties. My best friend Lisa did this and I had to try it out myself. Why not just use all black panties? If you're a very pragmatic person, this just makes sense. These are my absolute favorite eco-friendly products. I have them all listed in the down bar, even the ones that I don't use like the bamboo toothbrush and also the Diva cup for you guys to look at. I hope that you 
you guys like this video and I hope it's given you new ways to think about how you can cut back on your disposables. You want to downsize first and then you want to replace the disposables. You don't want to start to replace everything unless it's absolutely necessary. I love finding ways to make the household run smoothly and I hope you guys do too. If you guys like this video, definitely subscribe. I'll see you next Sunday in the next Minimalist and Organization video.